guys I popped into Home Depot in order to return some dead um, berries and I discovered this look at this raspberry shortcake this is a dwarf raspberry and as you can see it is producing berries so it's gonna look really cute this is baby cakes this is the blackberry and this is a primocane fruiter so you get two crops of this so this is fruiting on the tip and you'll get a crop along the cane both of these i think are zones six to nine i'm in zone 10 but um even stuff that says zone eight fruits in my zone because we are a coastal area then they have this peach sorbet in a two gallon pot. Doesn't that look cute? See those cute little leaves on it? And here are some bigger leaves. It's very ornamental. I think the blueberry leaves are more ornamental with the little white flowers than the um, blackberry leaves. And these blackberry leaves, I buy, I use blackberry leaves for tea. These don't look they don't have a very strong tea flavor like the ones I have. Um, let me see about these. The raspberry leaves, still, these are not the strongest leaves for tea. So, but, you know, you want a thornless raspberry. I might still have to get mine online. I got these coming in the mail. And I was shocked to see them here. This is, I don't know how many canes. Let me see how many canes do they give you in here. One, two, three, four. I don't know if this is one plant with several suckers, but um, it looks like quite a bit compared to what I'm going to get in the mail. I got one cane, and all I'll be getting is one cane. It won't be a structure like this. So I think this is one blackberry cane. Yeah for $20. The price is $27, but they have reduced it. It's on sale for $19.88. I think they need to go a little cheaper than that because um, the peach sorbet is looking pretty good. So if you're in zone 10B, I'd say try the peach sorbet or the blackberry or the raspberry. They have some others down here. This is Berry Bucks. This one's already dead. It must need a lot more water and they're not able to keep it hydrated. I see maybe the root system's still alive, but that's the only living tissue on that. I don't even know. Maybe that's a, I don't think that's a blueberry. Yeah, so this is the only living tissue on that. I don't think anybody's gonna give um, <laughs> them $26 for that dead plant there. Now I'll show you, they have one here that was in the back. This is the same plant. This is Berry Bucks. And this one is still alive, but as you can see, it is quickly dying. I have one of these coming, so I now know this one, wow, it needs a lot of water, so I'm going to have to put this one in the ground because it has these little tiny leaves. And this is a boxwood. And the leaves on this are very similar. I guess if it was filled out good, it would look more ornamental like a boxwood and you could shape it, but you lose some fruit that way. But see, the leaves are very ornamental looking and the fruit are small and um, probably best to allow the birds to eat it. How many plants do you get in here? You just get one but it looks like it's been established for a while and uh, let me see i don't i think this is dying back too yeah because this is would have had something on it so i don't know if you would want berry bucks in this area 10b 
unless you're gonna be watering it like a couple of times a day and I'm not good about watering so I got one coming I'm gonna put it in the ground and hopefully it does well for me the peach sorbet is much more tolerant of drought all the peach sorbets I'm seeing are fine also I'm also thinking they can't take the Sun yeah cuz this two are in the Sun and they are totally dried out so I'm definitely gonna put when I get my berry bucks um, I got just a, a cutting coming so nothing elaborate like this but when I get it mine's going in the shade because um, I'm not gonna go through that and the peach store bay can take more sun it's drying a little bit here because this is home depot but home depot treats their plants about like i do so you know that's why they put them on sale <laughs> okay so that's why i shop here because home depot and i we abuse plants and only the strong survive they have clematis in zone 10b most clematis are not good for our area but for those of you who can get them and want to know what they have dr ruppel cardinal winitsky um duchess of edinburgh h f young atoll violet polish spirit wisteria that grows well for us chocolate vine doesn't flower in my area i had one of those i got that one by accident it's beautiful but it doesn't flower in my area this is a freesia smells lovely it's a red freesia just gorgeous and if you didn't get freesias and um i would highly recommend if you're in zone 10b to get that because these come back in a pot for me every year so they are worth the ten dollars because you only pay once and they will come back every year no um additional water required you know easy a lilac bush won't grow in my area but if you guys can grow it they got ludwig monge president gray madame limon and then down here they have some peonies this peony has a bud on it that's exciting in my area we'll get to see a peony sarah bernhardt paula Fay. I think this one died or was stolen. <laughs> That's just my humble opinion. And then they have Coral Sunset. There's one that popped up. I would not buy a pot with a plant that looked like this in it at this time. Because, you know, this is Home Depot. They are notorious. Let me see. Okay, so now they have another case and all of those are the same ones I just showed you. I'll scan them because I don't know peonies as well as other people do the felix has a bud on it too this is a pretty honeysuckle vine i think we can grow that black currants i don't think we can grow red currants i don't think we can grow well we can grow some red currants but i don't think that's it <laughs> the red currants we grow are california natives and then they have some strawberries for laura me seascape o'neill we can grow sunshine blue we can grow and also i thought i'd show you the leaf on um sunshine blue even though it's not as small as berry bucks you can see that it does it can take the um drought better as can o'neill they're a tougher blueberry for our area these are leafing out just fine um these are bare root that's how much we pay for bare root you guys it's a lot and um, you have Boyne Raspberry. You can see the canes on there. We have Heritage. And exciting, they have this Tulemane, which is a new one that we've never gotten here. I've had Fall Gold, and it lasted me 10 years, fruited twice a year. Um, high, very large fruits, sweet flavor. Um, first year from these canes. So this is one I'm interested in. If I get one, it'll be the Tulemane because it produces large berries from first year canes. That's what we have to look for in zone 10. If it produces 
on first year canes, that means it needs no chill hours, guys. At least for some of the fruit. So that's what we got to look for. And I think these are more of the same, but you can get a look at them. Yeah, some strawberries. You guys, I'm returning my strawberries because they were all dead. So I would say to you, you can't see the berries in here. So when you open it up, if it's like mine, everything's dead in there. It's not worth it. You know, at this point, we're up to the $12 for two or three plants now. That's like $3 a plant, but you can get Seascape and Fort Loramie here. Um, so I think that's everything, guys. But you see how much healthier these blueberries are over here? Oh, they got sharp blue too. I, oh, I want sharp blue and I want O'Neill. What is this? They got a gooseberry here? We can grow gooseberries here, but California native gooseberries, not this one. So I guess I'd have to go someplace else and get my gooseberries. Okay. Oh, they got Biloxi blueberry. I don't even know if I can grow Biloxi blueberry. And honeyberry, berry blue, that's a male. I know I'm not growing anything that says male. Sharp blue, I don't know if I can grow sharp blue or not, but I'd give it a try. I want a jewel. That's the one I want. I like jewel and emerald. Yeah. But O'Neill is supposed to be pretty good too. But jewel is the one I want. So maybe I'll just go over to um, Lowe's and see if they have a jewel and an emerald. Because that's the ones I want. And, but I like O'Neill and Sharp Blue. I'm, I might be willing to give those a chance. I really want jewel because it gets 12 foot tall. <laughs> okay. So that's everything then bonnie's has strawberries that she won't even tell us the variety on so i wouldn't buy them because if you don't know the variety you don't know if it'll grow in this area but anyway god bless you i hope this tour of the fruit wisteria and peonies and lilacs coming into the store has helped you to make your decisions if you are in an area where they would grow if I paid $12 for this, this would be the only lilac I would get unless it has some other buds already on this bush. So just decide if that's worth it for you. Oh, let me just, for those of you who are still here, I found this um, tomato, not this one. Oh, let me go over here. I must have dropped the tomato off at another place, but I got to show you this dwarf tomato by Burpee. You know, burpee feeds the world. <laughs> okay. If you have a small garden, this tomato here called Baby Boomer, it only gets a one and a half foot high for most of us, but it'll give you 300 tomatoes. It gets, um, you don't, it gets, it grows as a bush, a determinate bush, um, 24 to 33 feet round. So it grows round in a little bush and you get a whole bunch of tomatoes in a small space. You could throw that in a pot and eat. God bless you. <laughs>